sunny mark. True story about a pokey boat that went ashore on Africa. This is called the Charlie Mason pokey boat. Was the first of January in the new year 48. While fishing off the loot shack, Charlie Mason met his fate. It was a bright sunny morning with a light southerly wind. That evening it looked different, the captain thought he should come in. He gave orders to pick up the port boat and the starboard too. But the fall broke on the starboard side and the net went in the screw. Then Wiley called the Coast Guard, said Nan Mike Nan tonight. Said, send your 83 footer and your best piece of line. Well, the crew manned the patrol boat and immediately left the station. They proceeded out the inlet right up to the Charlie Mason. They got the line made fast, but the bit broke like a match. Then Wiley knew he'd lost his boat and all of his catch. Van Henry said, Stanley, of my plan. Harvey Smith said he'd pay us 30 grand. He'd pay that sum if we could float. That Charlie Mason bogey boat. I'm coming ashore, Coast Guard, you'd better make a start. So the crew at the Coast Guard station loaded up the old beach cart. They backed up the farm service for the beach cart to hook. There was nothing but core sounders anywhere that you might look. Then Lum said to William, you better load the old wild gun. When he started to pull the trigger, you should see the people run. But the loud gun wouldn't fire, it was an awful disgrace. Lum couldn't see a blessed thing, his hat blew in his face. They finally got the pusser out and tied it to the mast. They stripped the crotch and rigged the buoy, the thing was fixed at last. The first man was in the buoy and the crew they heaved around. It was so heavy, the bus sag, the poor devil nearly drowned. Well, all the men were saved that night, all except in one. That man had a heart attack, his name was Peyton Young. Ansley O'Neill took him over to the Coast Guard station, where the crew that worked him over with artificial respiration. Van Henry said, Stanley, hear my plan. Harvey Smith said he'd pay us 30 grand. He'd pay that sum if we could float. That Charlie Mason bogey boat. Well, up at Travis Williams, you could hear the conversation. Said, boys, if I had the equipment, we would float that Charlie Mason. Then Stanley's way had said, my men will float that boat for me. And on Sunday, the 4th of April, she was in Beaufort in sea.